Hello, today we shall learn how to use NI Multisim to construct a simple electrical circuit with two sources and uh, how to use a measuring instrument to measure the current in the various branches. <clears throat> this is the question that we are going to look at. This is the simple circuit. We've got two sources here, one on the left and the other on the right here. So if you look at the mortise, this is how it appears. This is the workstation, the workspace here, or the drawing board. And then we've got the uh, design toolbox pin here. If you come to the tabs here, you will see place here. If you click on the place, and then on the top of the dialog box, you see com components. Click on the components, and then on this left side of this pane here, you will see the family of components here, which you may choose to, uh, from to construct your circuit. And whatever component you select appears on this right hand side here. On the components section here so what we are going to do is I will just say that I need a source and <clears throat> power source so DC power source appears and it appears here and you say okay and place it wherever you want to on the drawing board and then if you need more you click on OK you place it on the working space here again now let's quickly look for the other components here I will need the basic components that I need so resistor and the resistor appears here and those values for the resistors here but i will choose any value because in the end we can change the values and then again i need one more i will place it somewhere here and i'm at that one i will place it here so we've got all the components that we need but in some of the mortising packages you have to actually look for you have to look for what is it called a ground or f for it to for it to work actually i wouldn't need a ground here or f here in this circuit because the circuit will simulate without without it but i will just pick one in case you use the version and you don't need any component more just click on the close and it close the dialog box for you if you double if you select and if you select the whole component and right click it just wrote, you can rotate it any direction so i've just rotated this direction and then i'll select and right click i will select this and right click and rotate it in the direction that i want now the next bit is to connect them so as i bring you see the case i tend to uh, black uh, cross with a dot dark cro cross in it and then when you click on it there click on the node you just select the wire and take to the next component and close here to blue and you click OK there and there you go so we will connect all the other components Actually, with uh, this F, as I've told you, it will simulate all right. But I have just 
added it now uh, on the right hand side on the right hand pan here pin here you can see that there are components and those are measuring instruments and the first one here on the top here is multimeter so when i click it just comes with with me and then i will drop it here drop it here and i can right click and rotate it now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make sure the current flowing through this branch or this resistor so i'll just for current you just have to connect the measuring instrument in in series with the component so what i'm going to do is just to connect this in series with this electrical component here now if i double click on this multimeter i get the instrument panel here and you can see this is ac source this is dc so it has already selected the dc source so what i'm looking for is not voltage neither resistor but it's rather the ammeter so i've just selected the ammeter and this one here this green arrow is for simulation just run it and let's see that has given me sorry guys this is yeah it's giving me something good but that's not what we need in the meantime so let me stop the simulation let me change the values to the required values we saw on that paper yeah if i double click it gives me the chance to change the values and this is this is four volts i will say okay uh, quickly i will change this one to this is two ohms that is four ohms that is two volts and this is one ohm and just click ok so now let's simulate it quickly again yes the current flowing through is 5.714 5.571.427 milliamps. So that is that is it. Quickly, let's stop simulation and move on to. So I will disconnect this and now connect the circuit back on. Connect this wire back on to complete the circuit. What I'm going to do is to measure the current flowing through this branch. and i will just connect this here and connect that one there and simulate to find the current frame for that one and that is 285.713 milliamps and that's correct so to stop it just click on that one to stop it or this to pause it so i'm just stopping it and then I will just take the leads off. Of taking the leads off, I will connect this wire back to the circuit to make it complete. And I'm going to take this wire off and just connect this lead to that and this lead. To that, let's simulate it, and that is eight point um, sorry, eight five seven point one four milliamps. Let's stop the simulation and then take the leads off quickly. The leads are off. Let me connect this back to there. Now, let me show you how to. Uh, measure voltage with voltage you measure the you take the reading across the load that you want to find the voltage drop across it so you connect the leads across the load and this is how it is and i have to change the multimeter reading to volts so i've changed it to volts and let's see what it gives us what reading and that gives us 2.286 volts so again let's talk the simulation so this is what you do when you are to use this to check your answers for any calculation it could be complex or simple calculation that you have done thank you very much for watching and expect more videos.
videos to come.